fuck? We're in Lucy's dress. I found Lucy back in the canyon. Interesting facts about famous people. John Wayne's popularity from 1949 to 1959. I'm starting this fact-based series on John Wayne, focusing on his popularity compared to the other stars of the time. Wayne does well for himself and can truly call himself someone that the audiences could relate to and admire. If you like this video in enough numbers, I plan to continue with more. Come and see my other videos on my channel. The link is in the description. Apologies up front for any mispronunciations of names. Now let's get started. If you were wondering how popular John Wayne was during the most productive years making movies, here's a breakdown by year from 1949 to 59 in the top 10 scale. In 1949, Wayne was fourth most popular, behind first, Bob Hope, second, Bing Crosby, third, Abbott and Costello. I guess audiences preferred laughing than westerns that year. I should note he made The Fighting Kentuckian and she wore a yellow ribbon that year. 1950, Wayne popped up to first place. Maybe everyone laughed too much in 49. I should note, he made Rio Grande that year. 1951, still at number one, having made Operation Pacific and Flying Leathernecks. No westerns that year. 1952, slipping a couple of places to third place behind Martin and Lewis and second place went to Gary Cooper. This year, Wayne made The Quiet Man and Big Jim McLean. 1953, Gary Cooper popped up to first place and Martin and Lewis slipped to second. Wayne stayed in third place, making trouble along the way, Island in the Sky and Hondo. 1954, recovering and hitting the number one spot again, having made The High and the Mighty. 1955, whoops, down to third place again, this time behind James Stewart and Grace Kelly in good company, making the sea chase and blood alley. 1956, popping up to second place, this time behind William Holden, having made the forgettable, the conqueror, and possibly the best western ever made, the searchers. 1957, staying steady in second place, this time behind Rock Hudson. This year, coming out with the movie he says was his biggest regret, Jet Pilot, and Legend of the Lost. Nineteen fifty-eight. This year, Wayne didn't make the top ten list, maybe because this year he came out with The Barbarian and the Geisha. 1959, returning to the top 10 in 8th place, this year having brought out Rio Bravo and the Horse Soldiers. That's it for this instalment. Let me know if you'd like to see more on this theme. Let me know what you think in the comments. I appreciate likes, shares and subscribers. They help me a lot. Also hit the notification button to get my new videos. Bye for now.